I couldn't have imagined choosing anyone else but you to go through life's journey with. You and I both know how indecisive I can be at times. When there are so many options, I find it hard to choose just one. But if there's one decision in my life that I know is the right one, is to spend the rest of my life with you. That I couldn't be more sure of. Jeff, today I promise to support you, to honor you, and to love you unconditionally to the best of my ability even when we may disagree on something. For example, what to spend money on. <laughs> Bear skills and bike parts, or shoes and a new kitchen. <laughs> I promise to say I love you before we fall asleep each night. I will be loyal and faithful to you. I will not take our time together for granted. I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love and appreciate you. I will encourage you to follow your dreams and hold your hand through the good times and difficult times because as long as we are together, we can accomplish anything. I feel fortunate and proud to be standing beside you today. Thank you for accepting me for all that I am. I love you, Jeff. Judith, I vow to always protect you from harm, to stand with you against your troubles, and to always treat you like a princess. You are my favorite person, my lover, and my best friend. I cherish you above all others. They say marriage is just two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. I know I'm not perfect, but I will love you perfectly. I will never let you down or give up on you, and I will cherish you forever. The first time I saw you, I felt something special, and that feeling has never gone away. This is my vow to you today, to love you to the best of my ability, from the bottom of my heart, for the rest of my life. I'm a better person when I'm with you. I love you. Inasmuch as you, Jeff, and you, Judith, have pledged your faith to each other and have exchanged your vows and sealed them with the giving and receiving of rings, you have done this before God and these witnesses. Now by the authority conferred upon me as a minister of the gospel in the province of Alberta, I do pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> called me and you were telling me about this amazing guy that you met. She said he was smart, funny, handsome. So obviously you can imagine I was quite surprised when I met Jeff. <laughs> and I moved to Canada two years ago and Judith and Jeff really took me in when I first arrived. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. They were incredibly welcoming and generous. So one day I was in their kitchen, probably looking for some cheese and pickles. And I knew Je Judith and Jeff were going away on a romantic weekend to Creston in British Columbia. See how I remember that? And I was really looking forward to watching Bridget Jones' diary. Being lonely. And Jeff came up to me holding a small box. Inside was a beautiful diamond engagement ring. And he said, do you think Judith will like it? 
I was so overwhelmed because I knew just how happy that would make you. <laughs> I'm delighted that both of you have both found the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. And so, in finishing, I would like you all to join me in a round of applause for the most amazing couple in both Ireland and Canada today, Mr. and Mrs. Davis.